in the name of the living Jesus Christ of Nazareth I greet you once again Amen Now I'm here today to talk about again ambush this time it is the stigma that is attached to ambush ambush <clears throat> was sent to us from the living jesus and it is to all of us isaiah 53 says verse 6 all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord laid on him, him who, Jesus Christ, the iniquity of all of us. So this is all about all of us. Now, stigma is terrible. Stigma is inhumane. It is not, <clears throat> it is not human. Now, since, since the advent of, of HIV, People have been killed in prison for being HIV positive. In some cultures, people have been stoned to death. Fires lit around their necks. Not to speak of those who have lost their jobs, lost their families, fired from their jobs, who are being starved or thrown out of their houses. Here in America, there is the law a law that says that if you are hiv positive if you are infected you must tell your sexual partner <clears throat> or it could lead to prison i don't know of another disease condition that will land you up in prison if it is presumed or assumed that you gave it to another person this is so wrong now what makes us human as compo uh, as as being different from the other animals human human to be human there has to be love family unity trust togetherness Oneness, the Rastafarian would say the we-ism, group survival, a protection from war and diseases. It is my intent to help, as the Almighty has shown me, to get rid of stigma. How do we get rid of stigma? We have to cure the disease. It is unthinkable to see two people going to bed and you say, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, hold on, let me tell you my status. It just doesn't exactly happen. Or before, oh, let's discuss our status. Or, can you imagine, man says a woman, I'm, I'm HIV positive. The woman is going to say, bye, see ya. Or worse, oh yes, I'm HIV positive too. Now let's swap our disease conditions so we will be worse off gentle people of the world the almighty god has given us the cure for hiv and aids it's called ambush and it is humans who change the world no we change the world from the horse and buggy days to the cars to the jets We've also changed the treatment of HIV from nothing to the original AZTs and then the various inhibitors and now ambush is here as the cure that which will kill the virus and set you free by making you become HIV negative. Now, how do you prove me right? 
how do you prove me right? This is what a little pack of ambush looks like that I send to people. And I am willing to send it to governmental agencies, HIV researchers of the field, and those who are in the research community to prove that what I say this is, it is. All we need is one pack like this per person and one pot to boil it in. And once we have boiled it in a gallon of water, we give it to the person three times a day, 60 cc's. And for the researchers, I would implore that you do a viral load and a CD4 count on a daily basis to track how quickly this works. Because within five days, I can guarantee you their viral load will be down to zero from whatever score it was at with a corresponding rise in their CD4 count. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the world, if we go back to the book of John 6, 19 to 21 says, And they were afraid, but Jesus said to them, it is I. Do not be afraid. Then they willingly receive him into the boat. Words, people, it is time to receive the living Jesus in your boat. It is time to receive what he has given us, ambush, as the cure, that which will take away the stigma i cannot emphasize what it means to be human what it is to be loved where is the trust where is the hope today you 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 are inf if you are infected with hiv there's a sense of hopelessness that oh you can get some medication for the rest of your life the devil is a liar. He is here to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus has given us ambush. And I'm not saying this for the masses. I'm saying it for the research community to prove me right. And I thank you and God bless you. <laughs>